everyone welcome to vlogmas 2018 it is saturday december 1st and the fun is starting you guys i am so excited to do this this is my second year doing vlogmas i started uh obviously last year 2017 but i had only been blogging for about three months at that point because I started in September so I was really really nervous and my videos were a little I don't know I don't want to say unprofessional looking but um, I didn't really have a setup I didn't have anything but I had a great time I had a really really great time and um, I know there's a couple of there's a, there's so many people vlogging this season so many and there's so many amazing ones that are that have been around for a while and I know that there's some new vloggers new vlog missers out there so um yeah there's a lot out there to watch a lot to do and I have so much that I want to share with you this season as I said in my last podcast and before I even get into that thank you so much the response to the last podcast um, which was titled take a minute was really overwhelming there were so many comments and a lot of sharing and people sharing their current circumstance with me and it was just so wonderful to read and I, I cried a few times I laughed a few times so thank you so so much to everybody that that left comments and shared with me it, it as always, I love the comments. They mean the world to me. Um, and this weekend is definitely my time to sort of catch up with people, to slow down, catch up with comments. Um, there's there's a lot happening, and I'm so happy to share it all with you. The other part of um, the last podcast, too, was just talking about slowing down for this holiday season. Um, the holidays can be very, very tough for a lot of people, very emotional. Um very stressful, very busy, uh, there's so much to do, and places to be, parties, cards, shopping, everything, everything. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the 12 Pains of Christmas. <laughs> it's the best song ever. I will try to add a link um, for you uh, down below for that. Um, but I know that it can be the 12 Pains of Christmas for a lot of people, but I really stressed in my last episode that I wanted Vlogmas here um, with Earth, with me, with Earth Tones Girl, I wanted the podcast to be a place of refuge. I really wanted it to be a place where everyone could just come and sit and slow down for a little while and just rest, listen to me, kind of gab a little bit, um, show some yarny goodness and some decorations. Uh, I, I've added some um, holiday decor here in my little knitting nook. Um, I love my little space and when I wake up in the morning uh, my bed is on that side it's right behind this camera so when I wake up in the morning this is what I see and it just makes me really really happy so my nook has a little stocking which is right oh gosh I can't do it right there <laughs> you know what I should point oh there okay which is right there and um, then we've talked we've done this before if you've watched my podcast for a while you know I'm terrible with this um, we have our little tree we have our little countdown and I have a very special little advent calendar which we will um, talk about later in the episode so it is vlogmas it's day one and this particular um, episode is going to be a combination of vlogmas and a podcast so it is also going to be uh, episode 24 which is what we are up to in the podcast and I know a couple of other vloggers uh, podcasters have done that I wanted to get an episode up yesterday but time just didn't work and the light was horrible the lighting was absolutely terrible in here it was a very gray rainy day so I just decided you know what it's okay to wait don't stress myself out over it let's just do it today so here we are um yeah so basically I this is going to like I said it's going to be sort of a podcasty episode um, as well as vlogmas so I'm going to be opening advent calendars today and sharing some knits with you and some knit alongs that are going on and we also have to talk about my cows you guys they're finished <laughs> Yesterday, my two my two cows ended yesterday, and what an amazing experience! It has been so much fun. I did the falling leaf sock cow and the mini sock garland cow, and 
I had a ball. It was so much fun hosting it. There were so many enthusiastic and amazing knitters in the group. Um, everyone had a really, really great time. Um, it's just been a lot of fun. I thought I'd hear my phone. Oh, so let's talk about this too. There goes, there goes the phone. I'll be right back. So sorry, you guys. December 1st has fallen on a Saturday, which means that life will be interfering every now and then. <laughs> Whether it's phone calls or the kids running in, I've, I've got them in front of the phone, in front of the TV right now, so fingers crossed we can get this done. Um, so I apologize for the interruption, but I am here. So um, I don't even remember what I was saying. It's okay. You know what? It's okay. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're going to um, open some calendars. We're going to go over some... Po oh, I was talking about cows. Okay, I just remembered. I didn't go back and watch what I just finished, so here I am. Um, yeah, so my cows are done. We had an amazing number of finished objects in the Falling Leaves sock cowl. The goal of that was to knit one pair of socks um, per month for three months and many people completed it so congratulations to all of you that completed it uh, unfortunately there can only be one winner for the end of it um, so actually what I have done is picked a winner and the winner for the Falling Leaf Sock Cal for November is Phoenix Anu and that is Vicky so Vicky if you're watching congratulations I will also be posting this in the uh, on the in the group in the Ravelry group so um, I will post the winner there as well so congratulations Vicki and her socks were beautiful she knit the I'm just glancing at my notes she knit the effervescent socks they were beautiful she had a slightly shorter leg on the sock but it was this beautiful cabled lacy pattern um, she did the miss mixed matched which looked really really beautiful um, so I'm I'm very happy for you Vicki congratulations and your prize will be going out. I've got everything packaged. I had a real big hiccup with packages and sending things for October. So I have changed the game plan a little bit. So everything will be going out in the mail on Monday. Um, and for the mini sock garland cal, that was so special, you guys. It was so much fun. People had such a great time. There's so many people that sort of jumped in on the bandwagon about halfway through or almost at the end and you know they're going to be knitting they're continuing to knit mini socks and honestly I have a feeling that I'm going to be continuing as well they've become my potato chips they've become <laughs> my my quick go-to knitting um, as much as I love and I love socks so these are even faster so I can get these done really quick and I still want to finish I did not finish I'm owning it I said in my last podcast that yes, yes, I can finish, and I didn't, and it's okay. I'm not beating myself up about it. It's okay. Um, I was able to complete five more, which I will show you right now. So I had five more finished. I did this beautiful purple, and then we had this one, which looks perfect. It's so fall. I absolutely love this one. Then we had this gorgeous pink color, almost like a magenta and this really soft pastel -y one. I love that. And this is my la latest completed sock, which is this beautiful sort of bluey green. And so I did five more, so that's five altogether. So I now have 14 complete. Um, and there's still time, there's still time. I'm going to be hanging those up. Um, I don't have a fireplace, but my mother-in-law has a fireplace. So at some point before the end of Vlogmas, you will see the completed set hanging over her fireplace and I can't wait to show those to you. Or maybe I could string them back here. We'll see, but you'll see them. You will definitely see the completed set of 24. This is my next one to cast on. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, there's so much. This reminds me of um, ribbon candy. Does anybody remember ribbon candy that you used to eat or people I know still eat at Christmas time? Um, we used to eat it in Barbados a lot, and I finally I saw it. I started seeing it in stores here. So, and I say Barbados because um, Barbados used to be a British colony, and it's I find I always associate ribbon candy with England. So, um, but I'm definitely seeing it here now. So this is my next ribbon candy mini sock that will be knit up. I'm gonna cast that on later today, and 
yeah, so that is that. There's going to also be a lot of um, knitting footage. There's so much to knit right now. Oh my gosh. And even though the cowls are finished, I'm going to go back to announce the winner of the mini sock cowl. I'll be, do that in a second. Even though the cowls are done, um, there's so many amazing projects and make-alongs and knit-alongs that are continuing and starting today um, for the Christmas, for the holiday season. So mine is done, but I would like to open one or two new threads. Uh, if you're gift knitting and you want to share your progress, uh, there will be a thread for that. There will also be a thread for some of the projects that I'm making. It's just going to be sort of open season knitting. Holiday knitting is going to be the title of that thread. So feel free to come on over and post a picture. Let me know what you're knitting on. Um, post pictures of it. Just share. It's all about sharing your holiday knits and makes, and I would love to see them. And um, also, if you need any help. If you need any help with anything, if you get stuck on a project or something, you know what? Just I'll just do my best to help you. So definitely come on over and, again, post your projects there for help, for sharing, um, and just for a little holiday knitting together. We have to sort of do it virtually. Um, I'm we're gonna be I'm gonna be knitting here, and you can see some of the things I'm working on. But I would love to see what you all are making. Um, yeah. So that is that is. Oh, okay. I am so scattered today. Gosh, I'm so sorry. I wanted this to be a little bit smoother, but I think I'm distracted because the kids are home. I think that's what it is. Usually when I podcast, I'm home alone. I'm really focused, but I think I've got an ear on them to be sure no one's screaming, crying, breaking, dropping things. And they're really good. They're very, very good. Kira's watching CJ right now. Like I said, they're watching TV, but it's it's in the but they're in the back of my mind so I think that's the distractions that you're hearing right now so I apologize in advance um, but let's talk about the mini sock cow mini sock garland cow again I can't believe how much fun we had with this I had a great time like I said I didn't finish my garland but I'm still loving my socks and we had eight people in the group finish their sock garlands oh my gosh and one person, her name is Heather, and her Instagram, I believe her Instagram name as well as her Ravelry name is um, Hecatre, Hecatre, it's H-E-K-A-T-R-E-H, -E -E uh, I'll try to put that down here for you. Uh, again, her name is Heather, and she lives in the Netherlands. She completed two, <laughs> two mini sock garlands. Oh my gosh, 48 socks, she has them complete. Please go to the Ravelry group and have a look. Um, I'm all. Let me digress again for a second. I'm going to try to keep the editing on these videos really, really simple. Um, so I will try to put in a video um, of her socks here or even like a couple of seconds ago. <laughs> uh, but I really would like to keep the editing really simple just in order to get these done every day. So uh, I just wanted to say that, but her garlands are so beautiful. Her socks are beautiful. So Heather, if you're watching, congratulations. Um, to both Heather and Vicky, please send me your information. I'm going to send you all messages, but if you see this before I get to send the messages, please send me all of your contact information so that I can get your prizes in the mail. Congratulations to you both. And again, please go and have a look at the mini socks. Check the hashtag on Instagram. Just so beautiful. And I posted a bunch of socks and mini socks in my Insta story uh, yesterday and day before just for people to see. Um, I haven't closed the threads either. I didn't close. I'm definitely going to close the Falling Leaves FO thread. But I think I'm going to keep the sock garland thread open um, both the chatter thread and the FO thread, I'm going to keep those open until the end of December, just in case anyone wants to. In terms of the cal, it's finished. I'm not picking any more prizes, but if people want to continue to post pictures of their mini socks, then please feel free to do that. <sighs> so yeah, so I've shown you my mini socks and um, we have covered the cows. So let's talk FOs, you guys. I have one FO to show you and this FO is the reason why I didn't finish my mini socks because in the last in my last episode I gushed and gushed about seeing Rachel's getting warmer cowl and fell madly in love with it 
and I don't know what came over me. I, I just, I dropped everything I was doing and I cast it on immediately and I finished it, you guys. I finished it and I love it so much and it's so beautiful. Um, I will insert some pictures right here for you to see. I had such a great time knitting this. It was so beautiful. It's so warm and cozy. The pattern could not be simpler. You guys, it's just, it's ribbing at the bottom, as you can see, and just garter stitch. And when you knit garter stitch in the round, you are knitting a row round and purling around. And that's basically it. And then you're just doing some decreases. It's perfect and you can make the neck as long as you want i kind of wanted it to come like just to my chin and love it it's so cozy it's so warm and a huge thank you to my friend my dear dear friend carolyn who is bloom handmade studio i've talked about her many times here on on the channel and she took the pictures for me and um yeah we just had a great time we were out shopping and doing a couple of things together and i was wearing the cowl and she just said okay we we got to get some pictures and i wanted her to take some pictures for me but we didn't have time to drive to another location so i'm gonna let you in on a secret <laughs> we were actually standing in front of a supermarket and there are columns in front of the supermarket entrance and they had the poles wrapped for the holidays that's where I'm posing. If you, it, I don't know if you can see it in the pictures, but right off to my left in the pictures is the parking lot. <laughs> but we didn't care. We the the background was perfect. We just went for it. We got our pictures. We had such a great time, and I actually have it here. Let's grab that. Ta da! Here it is. It's all done. My ends are woven in, and you know what? I am going to put this baby on for you to see. Hold on. Let's check the hair. And here it is, you guys. It's on. Okay, hold on. Gotta whoop, do some adjusting here. Uh, using my little uh, yoga pose to reach the back. <laughs> using my, uh, hoping I'm flat. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Gotta be a little flexible to pull it down in the back. But here it is, you guys. It's all done. And I love it so much. And you can see the decreases. Oh, I just bit my tongue. Ow. <laughs> you can see the decreases a little. And I love the little texture that it adds to it. And look at that. Mm. I can pull it all the way up. It can stay on my chin. I can tuck it under. I can fold it down if I like. Although I'd have to kind of be a little bit more, a little neater. I tuck my ends in a little bit better or push it to the back. Um, so you can kind of wear it however you'd like. I love this so, so much. So here it is, and it comes down really, really nicely. I can kind of pull it down a little bit more so it's just above, like if I fold my arm, it hits a couple of inches above the elbow crease here, and it's the perfect length. You can give it a little pull in the back if you want it down a little further. I honestly think if I knit this again, which I think I will, because I would love to have just a simple gray one, um, I would even make the ribbing a little bit longer. I would definitely make it longer because there's plenty of room. I mean, this is super, super flexible. So you could definitely come down a little bit more without worrying about stretching it or anything. So here it is. I love it. And you know what? It's cool enough in here today that I think I'm just going to keep it on. It's, it's in keeping with all of the festivities. Uh, and I know I'm going to get a question. What I'm wearing underneath is just a really wrinkled i apologize for the wrinkles but it's a really simple cotton um pullover that i knit it's a raglan sleeve and i used ann bud's handy book of sweater patterns i started at the bottom up bottom, blah, 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 started at the bottom knit up and it's super easy you guys so that it's very very old too i made this with taki yarn um in their cotton classic which i know you can still is still available for purchase um it's warm it's nice but without feeling too too hot so it's perfect to wear like kind of around the house or if you're in layers so that is my sweater there are my decreases i knit this many many years ago i really would love to knit another one in a really light wool so that may be a winter project in later months so yeah so i cast this on i knit this and I didn't finish my garland, but I really don't care because I love it so very much. I, again, it's so toasty, and right now we have cold days and hot days, so I don't always have to wear 
a coat. So this is perfect, just kind of running the kids in and out of school, hopping in and out of the car. Uh, I love it, I love it, love it, love it. And I knit this out of Blue Sky Fibers hand dyed, worsted hand dyes. That is, that is the uh, name of this yarn. Um, Oh dear, I don't have the color in front of me. The, it had a number. It wasn't a name of the color. The color didn't have a name. It just had a number. And um, I will try to remember to add that in the show notes down below for you. So that, there you go. So let's talk about some knitting news. Because I do want to share some cows and different things that are going on. And then we will open up some yarny goodness, you guys. I think it's time to do that. So before we get to that, I just wanted to talk about um, some fiber friends that have some cows and different things going on. So Hey Brownberry, my dear friend Mars, who is again Hey Brownberry. She has a, hero, a YouTube channel here. She's also on Instagram. She just released a new sock pattern called the Pebbles and Pathway Sock. And the knit along for that starts today. So please go and have a look. I have printed out my pattern. I am ready to go. I will probably cast that on tonight and then show you some progress um, tomorrow or the next day. But you'll be seeing progress of my makes throughout the month. Um, throughout Advent, I should say. And I, I'm debating I might continue this through the end of the month. Um, just doing little videos and stuff because then the kids are going to be on vacation. So I might not have a lot of time for a full episode. So we'll see. Let's just wait and see where the season and excuse me the month and everything takes us so um yeah we'll, we'll see where this goes but uh so mars is doing that so please go and check that out uh the make along or knit along starts today and yarn cafe creations and dragon horde yarns they are kristen christine christine and tristan they're a mother and daughter team although they each have their own separate um indie dice companies or studios they are releasing i know I think it's actually um, Yarn Cafe Creations, who is Christine. She is releasing 24 starting today. You can buy one big bundle at the end, I think on the 24th or at the end of the month, or you can buy them one at a time. So you, it's a, it's a mystery mini sock knit along. That is what she's doing. Oh my gosh. And I have her mini sock I got her advent calendar and it's a Hogwarts theme it's so it's a I am so excited about this you guys <laughs> Woo! it is a Hogwarts Christmas at Hogwarts theme and I actually even have a little Hogwarts Christmas tree so and I had an idea to actually put the skeins in the little balls as I open them up and we'll I'll show you that later and um yeah, but now I, that's that was my plan, and I think I'm still going to do that because just time allowing, I don't know that I'll be able to knit a, a mini sock with a pattern and everything every single day on top of all the other things that I want to knit. So uh, I'm definitely going to be getting the patterns each day, and I'll see we'll see how much I can get done. Um, so we might have some socks hanging, we might have some in the little Christmas ball. So we'll see how it goes. But the Hogwarts tree will definitely be decorated, um, and also Stone Knits, who is Charlotte. She is Stone Knits on. Instagram. Um, her name is Charlotte and she just released her midnight, uh, no, I'm sorry, she just released, released her winter deer socks. Those are another gorgeous pair of colorwork socks. Um, absolutely beautiful. She just released them today. So you can go over and get that pattern. If you're looking for a wintry themed um, colorwork pair of socks, you can go and join in on that. And my dear friend Natalie, Natalie Sheldon, who is Remembrances Pottery, Natalie is doing, she is going to be releasing a pattern called the Midnight Snow Socks on December 21st. You guys, oh my gosh, these socks are just stunning. I have, I have not seen a pair of colorwork socks this beautiful. It's a winter theme. Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna spoil it by posting any pictures here. I want you guys to go and have a look. Absolutely beautiful, and those are going to be my Christmas Eve cast on socks. So definitely go and check those out. I, Like I said, I am so excited about this. They are beautiful. I've got my yarns picked out, but I'm not gonna show you yet. We'll, I'll, we'll, let, we'll get to that later. <clears throat> Excuse me. So go and check those out if you're looking for some holiday makes. Uh, there's glove patterns out there. Skander Knits is doing a mitten 
a mystery mitten knit along as well so go and check that out I'm actually going to hopefully cast those on today too there's gonna be so much cast on let me not say today in the next couple of days over this weekend I will be casting on quite a few things how much I get finished I don't know but it's all about the enjoyment of just knitting right now um, I am so excited to just knit and enjoy and have a good time so yes go and check those all out um so yeah I think that's pretty much it for in terms of like blogging stuff so I we are gonna pause I am going to change locations <laughs> to where the Christmas trees are and we're gonna talk about advent calendars you guys I'll see you in just a second I am back in my lovely dining room and I just wanted to show you I'm just gonna move the camera a little bit and show you I posted also on my insta story yesterday I posted my advent tree back there that is where I have all of my legacy fiber arts um, advent minis waiting to be opened I just took down number one <laughs> so um, and last year there's a lot of instructions on vlogmas from last year how I did that my father-in-law and my husband helped me build that it's basically just the center piece of wood with one two three four five um, horizontal pieces of wood and then it's tucked in a base in a wooden base um, I will try to link the instructions for that down below because I know some people are going to be asking about that but um, and this year I have added lights to it um, so yeah I didn't turn the lights on now because you're not gonna see them with the Sun I actually love the effect that the Sun is doing right now and that little beam coming in on here um, it's 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 so quaint in here right now <laughs> I'm so happy. So let's get started, you guys. So that is Legacy Fiber Arts back there. In this bag, <laughs> it's the most wonderful time of the year. So I found this little sack um, at a store uh, called The Christmas Tree Shop. So in this bag is Homespun House. I have a Homespun House advent calendar, you guys. I spoil myself rotten this season. I really don't want anything for Christmas, so I just figured I would treat myself to these because I love them and I will use the minis. And I have this other one here. <laughs> Here's another bag. And this one has the Yarn Cafe Creations and the Dragon Horde Yarn Advent Minis are tucked in here. And oh, here comes my son. Here he comes. Hold on. Here, come say hi. Take your thumb out. Say hi. Hi, there... my fans. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys. <clears throat> Thank you, guys. Um, so Enjoy they... Vlogmas yeah. and especially subscribe to my mom because yeah. she's the best. Yeah, Thank you, sweetie. You? <laughs> quiet, guys. Quiet. Um, so, yes, they're my babies. So, as I was saying, <laughs> and you will see them periodically throughout the... Um, this season. So here is uh, Yarn Cafe Creations and Dragon Horde Yarns and both of the, this one and Homespun House, they both have full skein minis to open on Christmas Day. So for December 25th. So I'm really excited about that. And I also have, which I have just cast on, I also have this you guys. Look at that! Aren't these beautiful? This is really special. I have not seen anyone do this yet. Um, this is a 24 stripe skein from the Cozy Knitter. So it's the it's the Advent. Here I have it here. The 2018 Advent 24 stripe skein, and this is from the Cozy Knitter. And she sent because she's a dyer and a knitter, and she gets it. She sent two beautiful balls already separated I wound these yesterday but they're separated so that you can do your socks two at a time and in my insta story I said I was going to do them two at a time but um and I still might I'm not sure but I have separated the balls I've gotten my yarn separated now if you see that little loop right there what I do because somebody asked me in comments on Instagram how I do my self striping um, sock yarn so that the socks match how do I match them I will basically hold the two strands together and pull a length. Hold on, baby boy. Give mommy one second, okay? One second, then we're gonna go. One second. Um, so I basically hold, take the tails, I 
measure out the length that I want to cast on and then I put a slip knot. I'm holding the two strands together from the two different balls. <clears throat> I tie a slip knot. I'm holding them in my hands. So you can see here, for example, there's two strands. I will hold one, put a slip knot in one, grab the other in the same spot, hold it and put a slip knot. And that is how I start them at the same time. So this one I cast on and as you can see, the little slip knot is right there in the same place on the second ball. Whether I choose to do them at the same time or not, I'm not sure yet. Um, you okay? Okay, baby. You want to go sit and wait for me? Hey. Okay, thank you. Kiaris, can you stay with Siege for a little bit? So, um... I am so sorry. <laughs> you know what? This is life. This is, this is my life on a Saturday. So let's get started, you guys. Let's open Legacy Fiber Arts. I'm so excited to do that. I'm ripping the bag. Oh, I know. You get to hear me ooh and ah. I will try. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at this. This is Legacy Fiber Arts, Sue and Chelsea. Isn't this absolutely gorgeous? Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. So that is Legacy Fiber Arts. Here is a homespun house. I have a couple of skeins from a homespun house, but her colorways are so dynamic. That's Molly, who, who is um, the genius behind homespun house. Okay, this light, guys, this lighting effect, I could not plan this. I love this so, so much. This is beautiful. Um, her colorways are so dynamic and so beautiful. So I really wanted to get in on this calendar and I'm not gonna lie, this one wasn't wasn't cheap, but it, I, I think it's so gonna be so worth it. So here we go, oh my gosh! Beautiful, just beautiful. Oh, I just love it so much. And you know I make, last year I made little wreaths out of these. I tied a ribbon right here at the join and I made wreaths out of these. So I will definitely be doing that again and I will show you um, some footage on how I do that. So, oh wait, we have to open a fruit snack. Hang on a second, you guys. Sorry Dinosaur. for the crinkling. Okay, there you go. Go ahead, baby. Um, so yes, so this is Homespun House and let's open up. This is Yarn Cafe Creations and Dragon Horde Yarns. Oh my word. Oh, their colors are so amazing. Look at that one, you guys. Oh, these bright splashes of green in there. Just beautiful. I am so excited. These are just beautiful. I love them all so much. So yes, as I said, Yarn Cafe Creations is doing their mini socks. Um, so if you're interested, go and take a look at that. I think they were coming out 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time today, which is noon Eastern Standard. So I am going to be downloading those shortly. Um, and we'll see if maybe I can get one or two cast on and made over the course of the season. Here is a homespun house again. Mm, I love these colors. There's something about minis, and these are all 20 gram minis. There's something about minis that are just the potential. Yes, my love. Okay, tell Kira, tell Kira. There's something about minis that are, there's so much potential. You can make mini socks out of them. I would really love to have a tree that is just covered in mini socks. That's on my bucket list, We'll see, on my knitting bucket list. So we'll see if that actually happens. But there's something about minis that is just, they're little bursts of potential. They're just little, they're endless possibilities and, and the combinations, look at that. Oh my gosh, this is Legacy Fiber Arts again. Oh my gosh, Sue, Chelsea, you guys hit this one out of the park. I know I'm gonna say that every day for the next 24 days, but I love them so much. So yes, there you go. Um, I love them. Like I said, I have cast on. Here is, here is the, oh wait, let's pull this through this way. And I think I have to go this way. <laughs> I'm a little discombobulated here. Um, but yes, I have definitely cast on for um, the Advent 24 Stripe skein. Oh, just, is there anything more delightful than just sitting and knitting? And I'm going to be knitting tree side with you guys a little bit. Um, I think Vlogmas is going to be really, really fun. So I'm really excited. Um, and you know what? We may also skip a day where I don't open the advent calendars, but you will still see them for the day. Um, yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoyed 
day one. Um, congratulations again to all of the winners. Uh, I will definitely post footage too of um, my lovely tree. I love this tree so much, you guys. I love it so very much. So I will definitely post pictures of that with the lights on. And um, yeah, so we'll be, you'll be joining me every day. I'll be taking you through my day a little bit, different places that we go, things that we do. Uh, I will try to also get these loaded um, as early in the day as I possibly can, but I may end up being a day behind. You know what? I don't know, but you will definitely get a video every day. So welcome again to Vlogmas 2018. I'm just happy to be here, you guys. And what thing, one thing I want to do at the end of every episode and when I was sitting in the in the sewing nook before, that little advent calendar that I had on the wall that had all the little pockets with the little cards tucked in, written on each card, and I did this um, a couple of days ago, written on each card is a question. And I want to end each day of Vlogmas with a question for you. Um, feel free to email me privately if you want your answer to be private. Uh, if you'd like to just leave it in the comments down below, you can send me a message on Instagram. However you can email me, however you'd like to answer, but I would love to hear from you and find out what you think. So, um, and some of the questions will be a little more personal. Some will just be fun and silly. Uh, I thought I would start us off on day one with this really simple one. So um, here we go. Let's ask our question, Vlogmas day one. Would you rather watch the movie or read the book? <laughs> We're eating fruit snacks. <laughs> um, no, I want to just show them. Right? Oh, okay. You want to show them? There you go. Is that a dinosaur? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> um, so again, would you rather watch the movie or read the book? The answer, my answer, I like to do both, but I love to read the book first. Uh, it's happened where it's been the reverse, where I have seen the movie and loved the movie so much and went to check to see if there was a book or if they mentioned that there is a book. Um, so yeah, I like to do both. I will definitely read the book, see the movie, compare and contrast. Sometimes the difference is, the only thing that the two have in common is the title. <laughs> and sometimes one is so beautifully adapted to the other that no matter which way you go, well, usually it's the book first and then the movie. Um, but the adaptations can be sometimes absolutely spectacular. But, um... In a perfect world, it's read the book first and then then see the movie. That is my preference. So thank you all again so much for joining me today. Um, again, please leave your answer to the question. I'd love to hear from you. Share your knitting. Let me know what you're working on. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Happy and merry.